This is my working end portal, but it's actually an illusion. So today we're going to recreate this effect, but with a nether portal instead. And by the end of the video, we'll be able to hop through this portal into the nether. To make this happen, we need to transform three areas. The river, land, and even the sky. And I think we're going to start with the river because last I checked, there wasn't water in the nether. Well, at least not without YouTubers. So phase one is transforming the river. But first, we need to get rid of all this water. And for that, we need sponges. Okay, we've got everything and we're here. First, we need to kill the three Elder Guardians so that we can get the sponges. Yes, the sponges here. Uh, if we start mining them, maybe we can get them before the Elder Guardian gets us. Alright, that's all them, but there's got to be some more in here. No! Okay, yeah, we need to kill the Guardians. Alright, here's Guardian number one. Yes! Wait, we can drink our potions. There we go. Now we don't have to place doors. Oh, yes, more sponges. Oh, it's still so slow. Yeah, the other two guardians definitely need to die. Here's the second one. Too easy. But where is number three? I think the last one might be at the very top of the monument. I guess there's only one way to check. Bruh, this is taking so long. No. Oh, my God. Don't hit me off the block now. Yes. We are free. That took so long. All right, is he at the very top? Yes, he is. But how do I get in there? Round two. Yes, we can finally kill you. You're so annoying. Oh my God, oh my God. Why does it actually hurt? Okay, now you're dead. Woo! We are free to collect sponges in three minutes and 30 seconds. Yay. Yes! Okay, so that's like a stack of sponges, but we're gonna need a little bit more than that. All right, and now that we've got sponges, we can build walls of sand like this. Oh my God, these fish are like right on the line. <laughs> they are about to lose their home. Placing the sand is definitely what takes the longest. I wonder if there's a faster way. We just need to put this here and now, wow, this is working so good. Ow. So I think we'll use this setup for the rest of these lines. Like this, and that, and... All right, I think it stopped working because this piston can't push that many blocks. So to fix it, we'll just move it down there. And we'll just repeat this process for the rest of the river. And now that we've got all these areas separated, it's time to get using our sponges. Sorry, fish, but, um, you are going to die. <laughs> Lol. All right, that area is all drained, but this area is very deep and a bit of an awkward shape. So I think we're gonna have to drain it a different way. Wait, I think I've got an idea. We're gonna need a bunch wow. of dirt. And now we just make a layer of dirt one block underneath the water. Okay, and this will be the cutoff point because you can't see this area from the portal. Now we'll just collect our sponges, dry them off in the nether, and now it should be quite simple to drain all this water. All right, and now the river is completely drained, it's time to start filling it up with lava. But before we do that, we need to make all these layers one layer deep, like this area. Let me just cast my magic spell. Subscribe to Lockdown Life. Nice. I can't wow. believe that worked. Now it's time to add the lava, and I think the lava is really going to bring this illusion to life. So let's go and get some. Okay, the first buckets of lava are going down. I think we're going to need a lot more. <laughs> yeah, that's the first batch down, and we're going to need a lot more. So for this, we're going to make use of the resources that we've got available, such as having thousands of shulker boxes and all the iron we could ever need. All right, now we should really be able to maximize efficiency and get this lava placed down.
bro. Ow. 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 No. Oh. Why is lava so hard to work with? Ow. Ow. Oh, this is so annoying. If only there was some magical item that would make this so much easier. Wait a second. Perfect. This is going to be so much easier. All right, the lava river is now complete. So this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. But we've still got a lot more to do, so let's move on to phase two, transforming all this land. And the first thing we need to do is get rid of all these trees because I don't think there's any jungle trees in the nether. Wait a second, I think there's a faster way of doing this. Ow, <laughs> let's try and not set myself on fire. Yes. Burn everything, burn! I guess whilst everything's burning, let's plan out the areas for this build. So I was thinking to the left of the portal, we'll have the warped forest. And then here at the back where the bamboo is, we'll have the basalt delta biome. And then next to that, we'll have the nether wasteland biome with maybe a nether fortress in it. Then next is the soul sand valley, which will look really cool with all the bone blocks. And finally, we'll have a small crimson forest biome just to the right of the portal. All right, now that we've got our plan, let's get to work. We're gonna start with the warped forest biome, but the only problem is we need to find it first. Ooh, wow. this might come in handy later. Yes, perfect. All right, there's a few important things we need. Firstly, we're going to need a bunch of this stuff, and this is literally going to cover the entire area and just make it look exactly like this biome. Okay, that should be good for now. Another thing is these vines. They're quite a distinctive feature of this biome. Um, do you guys mind? And of course, we need a bunch of these trees, but we can use the mushrooms and just bone meal them into the trees later. All right, that should be good. And now we've somehow got to make this area look like the nether. Okay, so let's first start by extending this bit a little bit out into the lava, just so you can actually see this from the portal a bit more. And then we'll go along the edge and convert all this first. How does that look? Hmm, it looks okay. Maybe we'll extend this bit like this a bit. This bit can be a bit more hilly because it's not really in the way of the rest of the build. And then we can just cover all this hill with Nicelium. We don't need to replace the blocks. We can just cover it. Wait, that's a thought actually. If we look through the portal, where do we actually need to convert and where can we actually leave? So like all that bit, you can't even see through the portal. Hmm. So at this point, I came up with the idea to look at this screenshot and then map out the area that you can actually see through the portal. All right, this is the area that we need to transform. And this little segment is going to be the warped forest. So let's put down all the Nicelium. Okay, now we're going to scatter some of these mushrooms around. And I want one right here at the front. Then we can bone meal them. And this one's important because we need it to look good. We can also add a bit more realism to the biome by just bone meal in the floor. And finally, we'll add some of these vines. Hmm, I feel like that tree's blocking everything, so let's try and move it to the side a bit. Ow, did not mean to fly into lava. Thank God we've got the Streamlight Destroyer 4000. Maybe here? What is that? Bruh. All right, let's try... Tree number three. Yeah, it's a tiny bit too tall. Tree number four, please. Uh, maybe here. You know what? I'm just going to build my own tree. I mean, at least we've got all the stuff to build a tree now. All right, that's the first out of the five biomes complete. Now we're moving on to the next biome, which is the Basalt Delta biome. And luckily, there is one right here. Ow. How did that set me on fire? And why is there a parrot in the nether? <laughs> I must get a seed. You will be mine, parrot. Come back here. That is very dangerous. That is a very dangerous place to fly. Oh my god. He would rather die than be my parrot. <sighs> oh! Oh my god. Why is everything being so mean to me? Ow! Oh. Let's just collect the biome. Oh, these things take like a little bit to mine. Oh, it's going to take ages. Wait, I've got an idea. Here we are. And we have a bunch of leftover gold blocks. Then we can grab a beacon from here. And... How did I miss that? Wait a second. 
Oh, there's blocks in the way of the beacon. Oh my god. And there we go. We have ourselves a haste two beacon. Now let's finally collect this biome. And I think we're going to build it over here because the basalt pillars are kind of like the nether's bamboo. I mean, sort of, right? Anyway, let's build this thing. We'll start here with some taller spires. Actually, if we make them tall enough, you won't be able to see all that land back there, which will then save us a bunch of time. I think rather than building one pillar at a time, we're going to build the foundations of loads of them. And that way we won't have to take loads of full damage. Okay, and now we'll build this back layer up. All right, that's the back layer done. And as you can see, it completely covers all the background. Although we do need to get rid of this bamboo back here. And we should also probably flatten this hill a bit. All right, that's looking good. Now let's build the rest of the spires. Okay, it's looking pretty good, but it could look better with some lava. We need to make sure we get rid of all of the dirt because there is no dirt in the nether. Lava should help cover it up there. Do, do, do. Ow, oh. ow. Why do I keep burning myself? All right, it's looking a lot more alive. Now let's finish off the biome with some blackstone and magma blocks. And that is the second biome complete. Now onto the nether wastelands biome. So first, we're going to place a blanket of netherrack on this entire area. This would be a lot easier without mobs. And also a lot easier without all this grass. No, no, no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. God. Well, there goes three minutes of my life. Alright, that's all fixed and all the grass is gone. Let's get back to Operation Netherrack Blanket. And there we go. Operation Netherrack Blanket is complete. Now it's time to add some details. Like blocks of quartz. And gold. And finally... Fire. This is definitely going to add that nethery feel. And with the final touch of some flowing lava, that is the nether wastelands biome complete. Only two more to go now, and the next one is the soul sand valley. This illusion is actually looking so cool. So we need to collect some soul sand and some soul soil. And then, of course, we're also going to need a bunch of bone blocks. Now let's just quickly lay down the outline for the biome. And now we just fill in this middle area. Then we'll add our bones. Very nice. And now we'll finish the biome off with a sprinkling of these little red bushes that no one cares about. And just like that, we've only got one biome left to do. The Crimson Forest. I mean, to be honest, this biome only has a slither of land in the illusion. So we're not going to need to collect too many blocks. So just a bit of this stuff. A couple of mushrooms and some vines. Okay, so we just replace all this green grass with this nice red nether grass. All right, and now we decorate the place. And carefully add a couple of trees. We can't put any here because it would block the entire illusion. So maybe let's try here. Hmm, it kind of blocks all the bones. I don't really like that. What if we had a tree like here? Hmm, maybe. Or we could try one a bit further away and have it looks smaller. What is that tree? That is so weird. I really want to try and get the vines in somewhere, but this stuff is kind of blocking the entire illusion at the moment. Make this tree a bit smaller, and then we can place some vines here. What does that look like? Hmm, now you can't see it. I think we might have to build our own tree like that one over there. And just like that, all five biomes are complete. But before we move on to phase three, I kind of feel like it's missing something. I can't quite put my finger on it. So let's look in the nether and see if we've missed anything. Ah, right. Structures. Ooh. And I think we'll start with the ruined nether portal. 
Okay, we've already got this overworld ruined portal, but we need to convert it into a nether ruined portal. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to swap out all of this regular stone brick and mossy stone brick for blackstone. And of course, we should probably get rid of these vines. And to be honest, we'll get rid of this obsidian as well. Now I'm just going to use this screenshot to recreate the one that I saw in the nether. Yeah, that's a lot more nethery. And of course, the final touches, we can put all this gold stuff in this chest. I don't know why this matters, but let's just do it. Now let's move on to the major structure. And for this, we're going to need our beacon. And here we are, the nether fortress. Now we can just build our beacon here. And hopefully this will work down below. It's working here. No, it looks like it's just a bit too low. Let's just do it the old fashioned way. All right, now that we've got the materials, I think we'll build it on top of that netherrack hill. And we're basically gonna build one of those nether fortress bridges. I think that'll work really well with this hill and it'll look really cool in the illusion. So let's get to work. All right, this is where it starts to get a little bit difficult because we are doing that part where the nether fortress bridge goes out a bit and we just need to make sure we don't get this bit wrong. Otherwise, it's going to mess up the entire build. I am using a screenshot and also my amazing diagram to help me do this right. So I don't think there's much of a chance I get it wrong. Okay, the shape looks right, but it's missing the netherrack brick fences. And that's why it looks a little weird. Once again, we'll use our amazing diagram to make sure we know where the fences are. Okay, the fences are in the right place, but we need to make sure you can't see through it. So let's add some netherite brick behind each fence. And there we go. We have a perfect nether fortress bridge. Now we just need to make it a lot bigger. Thankfully, I've still got my trusty diagram. All right, and with that done, I'm pretty happy with the structures in this illusion. But this magma cube has given me an idea. Why don't we get mobs and put them in their respective biomes to really sell this illusion and make it seem like you're actually looking into the nether. Which means the mobs are gonna need names so they don't despawn. And I'm gonna name them after the most active members of my community Discord. So if you want a chance to be in my world, then don't forget to join the Discord with the link down below. All right, so we've got 15 different name tags. Let's try and get 15 mobs. Okay, we've got this magma cube. Uh, come with me. Go on, parkour. He's coming. No, this way. Yes, I think he went through. And we'll call this first one Linus. Hmm, we need to make sure the mobs don't escape from this area. So let's maybe build like a barrier going all the way around. Just get inside first, please. Yes. All right, he's in. Let's build this barrier. Okay, this guy is now nice and trapped. Next, I want to try and get some of these guys. So let's build a nether portal here and then we just light it. But we need to be able to move these guys. And for that, we need one of them mushrooms. Perfect. Then we can craft this. Nice. And now if we put a saddle on these guys, oh, we can control them. No, skeleton. Don't shoot me. So annoying. Come on, go through the portal. Why are you not going through? Why is this portal so low? Diamonds, though. Wait, actually, let's just drive over to this portal. Now, go through the portal. Perfect. Get rid of these. You will be Naman. Enjoy the lava. Now, let's get a few more of those guys. All right, that's all our striders in the lava lake. Now, let's try and get some zombified pigmen for this biome. Wait a second. You're not a nether mob. So for this, I guess we'll make another nether portal here. That is not how you make a nether portal. Hmm, this guy could do. We just get him to follow us. Yes, he's actually coming. Come on, come into the portal. Yes, come on, follow me. Nice, come on, go through the portal, nice. And you are called Mallow. And with a few more of these guys, the land has been completely transformed. So that is phase two complete. The only thing that tells us we're not in the nether is the sky. So that's what we're gonna transform in phase three. My plan for this is to convert the sky into a red color by putting a layer of red stained glass in front of the sky. But for this to work, we're gonna need a hell of a lot of glass and I know just where to get it. This is my super smelting asteroid and it can literally smell thousands of blocks an hour. The only problem is we don't have much fuel left. Well, we have zero. Wait a second, I think I've got an idea. We might be able to use wood logs as a fuel. Or better yet, we'll be able to use the asteroid to smelt the wood into charcoal. And then we can use that charcoal to smell all the glass we need. So that's the plan. And the first step is to get lots of wood. Okay, we've got the wood. 
Let's load it into the super smelter. We need some of it to actually power the furnaces. And then all the rest can get smelted into charcoal. All right, now if I press these levers, we should start to get loads of charcoal. Okay, and now we're starting to get charcoal. We can use this charcoal to actually power the machine. Okay, now loads and loads of charcoal is being produced. And the entire thing is running on charcoal as well. So we can go and get some sand from our duper. And now we can load up the super smelter. Then after a little bit of waiting, we have loads of glass. But we're still not done because we don't need clear glass. We need red glass. And I just wasted two glass. So for this, let's click this red plant loads transform it into red dye and dye all of this glass. All right, perfect. That's all the red stained glass we need. Now it's just figuring out where to actually build it. Well, I guess we know we need to build it behind this nether fortress, but do we build it just behind it or a little further back? I think this is a decent enough gap. Where does the illusion actually start though? Okay, so it starts about there. So if we build out to here, and then build a line all the way across. It's just figuring out where we actually stop. Okay, so we definitely need to go lower than that, but I think the length is pretty much good. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that is about high enough. So I guess all that's left to do now is to get building. Okay, that's the part under the bridge done and it looks really cool. Now we're gonna do this part just above the basalt. I think this will be easiest if we just do a solid block instead of just trying to pick out the little bits that are missing. It looks like this from the back, but it looks amazing from the front. Last bit is this massive sky segment. This is going to take a while. Luckily, I have loads of experience with this kind of building from last episode. All right, phase three is now complete. I have transformed the sky, which means the illusion is complete. So this is what it looked like at the start, and this is what it looks like now. Don't forget to subscribe, and you'll like these videos next.